I've always paid a lot of attention to special effects and layouts and interfaces and uh <clears throat> but uh I can usually I can usually see the production values of something and tell you what year it was it was created, or at least, you know, within a, like a, like a three-year, two-year, three-year span. But a lot of times, I'm, I'm just spot on. Uh, I can just usually tell. I mean, it's just, most of the time, it's with music. I can hear the production values of, of a song. I could have never heard the song before, but I, I'll hear the production values, and I'll usually be able to guess the year it was made. So there's just these certain things that I focus on, and... Uh, Anyway, that was kind of a lot of rant about nothing, but anyway, uh... Tron, the movie Tron, one of the things that gave Tron the feeling that it did, the feeling, uh, the look that it did, for me it just it evokes a feeling, but, uh, is that... Supposedly it was, the computer generated stuff was only the wireframe, and everything else was pretty much hand-painted and so any of the effects that you saw on them any of the glow and all of that was done in some other way that I, I haven't learned how they if they applied the glow effect on things like that and uh, so anyway uh, and then I think about like the last starfighter the last starfighter was fully computer animated those those sections and uh, it had a certain flavor too I mean just very it, uh, a lot of, the, the, around that time and a few years after, uh, a lot of the movie theaters would have, uh, on the intro, you know, the, the, they'd say AMC theaters or whatever, you know, whatever movie theater it was, they would have this, their little thing, oh, buy our popcorn and whatever it is, and, uh, their little bumper. And it would usually be of the same type of feeling as The Last Starfighter. And, uh, I've always thought it would be interesting to uh, get footage of that. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, the main thing I'm wondering about is uh, from 1982, the ABC Sunday Night Movie, that sequence. I can't seem to find anything about about that sequence and how it was made. Um, the The effects that were on it remind me a little of Tron, but it also doesn't seem to strike me as something that could have been hand-painted. And so I'm just wondering, what did they use? How did they create those effects? And if anyone knows this information, you know, let me know, because I just, I'm very intrigued by it. Um, I, I love the look that it had. It, it's something, I, I wish there was some way to recreate this certain flavor that it had. And, uh, uh, there's one more thing, there's only one thing that I found that's more recent that had that flavor, and that was The Gate, it, it was an animation in this, uh, laser disc I had in the 90s called The Gate to the Mind's Eye, and it had Thomas Dolby, uh, uh doing the soundtrack to it, and there was this particular animation where, uh, it has this camera floating through this weird tube-like space station, and the camera f zooms in, and, and in this space station, it's it's like a, a they've a, they've kind of terraformed land there. I mean, there's all this there's all this lavish land, but it's all exists in this tube. And uh, anyway, you're 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 zooming through this area, and and that same I don't know what they did to the film or or how it was made, but that's the closest thing I've seen to having that feel. And I, I don't, I, I don't, I can't seem to, I don't have that, uh, that video anymore. I need to get a hold of it, uh, find out more about that particular clip and find out what was used. How did they get that feel? Why does it have, what is different about it? Why does it seem like something from the 80s, even though what was being rendered was so complex? So, uh, anyway, blah, 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 blah.